I was thinking that they'd pick like Smashville right away, but they didn't. Thankfully, they waited for me to do this. Thank you. Oh man, it's FD. I can't tell if this is button check or them actually playing in neutral. Oh, uh, okay, it's them playing in neutral. So their neutral consisted of just jumping in place. Alright, so Men Knight versus a fastballer. This is gonna be fun. Wow, I thought he got stage spike right there. Oh my god. Ooh, that was actually two good tests by him. Oh my god, he just rolled three times. Ledge roll and two rolls and still got away with it. Why did the game reward you for rolling? I wish Yoshi could do that. Anyways, he nares him and he dies. We are using Ch we are not using Chalange, we use Teo Brackets sadly. The only internet we have is for the stream setup, which is an ethernet. Which is an ethernet cable. So we have no internet for Chalange. Um, we could technically use a phone, but um, I don't think we want to do that. When we could just ha when we have a laptop to just do the bracket on Teo. For now, Luj is trying really hard to take the stock, and I think he just got it with that back row. Oh, he couldn't tech twice. That was a good edge guard by J Ban. I think, but. Knowing Shade's mindset, he's most likely gonna try like for these spikes because he wants to take the shot. And that's it. Like, like Shade's a good player, but his problem is like he goes way too deep. Like he doesn't. It doesn't matter like whether he has 100% or 0%. He will go off stage and try to get that spike. He will sacrifice his stock just to take your stock. And that right there demonstrated it twice. He tried so hard just to take a stock, and it just cost him his stock in the end. Cost him game one. Now we're on to Smashville. That's another thing with his playstyle too. He'll run at you because he's super aggressive and grab you. So I think J-Band realized that. It's like, you know what, I'll just charge a smash and know he'll run towards me. And since there's no grab armor, I'll, it's going to punish him for his attempt of just mindlessly coming into dash grab. Oh, and the platform was there to save Shade. Man, J Ban's um, off stage game was really aggressive. It almost worked, it's just that the Smashville platform sadly helped. Ooh, the ledge trump. He missed the ledge trump, but I think J Ban should have just got back on stage, let Shade recover, and try a down smash him. Like whether he landed behind him or back on the ledge, it still most likely hit him. Unless down smash hitbox like doesn't work. Ooh, a shadow dimensional K. It just nicked Shade on the leg and got him. That was good waiting by Shade. He tried or not? Yeah, Shade. J Man was hoping he dropped shield. He just stayed in shield and jumped away once the second up air came out. Oh, yeah, that was a good trade. I thought he used a double jump, but he's still making it up being anyways. 50%, not too bad. Let's see what Shay can do now. Oh, he... Oh, my God. j Ban did something very... Um, questionable. Up B into up B. Nice. Anyways, that was very interesting in j Ban. I think Shade kind of adapted and isn't like running in like as much anymore because he knows he'll just lose if he tries to grab him, but he still ran into an F smash. 
the game is pretty much even because Meta Knight can hopefully give shade to. Oh, that was close. Oh, he was hoping for the trip and down tilt. Oh my god, J-Ban, that almost happened again. Oh man, he's gonna dash dance around. All oh, the dash attack to up, up B. And that's a set. Damien takes it to Z though. And that's that.